one of the longstanding issues at Petrified Forest National Park has been a legal removal of the petrified wood. In fact, the park was actually on the top 10 endangered park list in 2001 because of perceived petrified wood loss. I'm a geologist by training, so I looked at these stories and when people were pointing to areas that had been stripped clean, I was thinking, well, the wood occurs in single strata and these weren't the right strata, so I don't think there was any wood there to begin with, but how can we test this? Fortunately, this has been a tourist destination for over 100 years. We have photos going back to the 1880s and 1890s. So we pulled out about a hundred and something photos from all different time periods and we decided, well, let's go back out to these areas. We'll relocate where they are. We'll reshoot the shot and we'll see how much wood has disappeared in these photos. So let me show you some examples of what we've been working on. This one is from the 1920s showing rangers standing around the old faithful log down in, in Rainbow Forest. Here's the same shot in 2013. Uh, you see things have changed a little bit. There's a retaining wall now because this log was struck by lightning in 1964 and this was meant to stabilize it. And originally there was an old road that ran by here that's now a trail rather than a road. But if we go through and look at some of these, there's some really interesting historic shots too. Here's long logs turn off in the early 1930s. Here it is today. Here's the back of the South Visitor Center. Again, if you look, you can pick out some, some of the specific logs here. And this whole area is clear of wood now, but that was the same case back in the 1920s. We were absolutely amazed to discover when we compared the old photos with the new ones that we couldn't really find any cases where areas had been stripped clean or where there had been a lot of wood loss. In fact, in a lot of photos, there was actually more wood than was in the historic photos. So it turned out to be a really interesting and important tool to basically look at the condition of the park and determine that a lot of these anecdotal stories about areas being stripped clean just aren't true. When we first presented this in 2007, the reception was a little lukewarm, but when we got our, our new superintendent in 2010, he was pretty excited about this. I was on a temporary assignment here in 2007 and uh, one of the things that I took away from that assignment was that some things at this park had been shut down over the years. There were fewer opportunities for visitors. There were things that had been closed to protect the petrified wood from being stolen. I learned about the reef photography project that Bill Parker was working on we found an opportunity to be more welcoming and to talk about all the positive things that there are to enjoy here at Petrified Forest. And we wanted to provide as many of those as we could. The important thing is, is that you're still getting the same scenes and the same feel as you did if you came here in the 1800s or in the 1920s. The scene hasn't changed. Here's a famous one. This is uh, Albert Einstein and his wife in 1931. And you can go stand on the exact same spot today and all the wood that they saw in 1931 on that day is still here. You can go see the exact same wood that Albert Einstein and his wife saw. The fact that we can see very little disturbance or anything like that in these photos shows that National Park Protection works and it kind of relaxed management a little bit. When you're sitting around on the top 10 endangered park list and you don't know if your primary resource is going away you might be a little low to open up areas to new types of visitor use like hiking, things like that. So this has kind of been a real paradigm shift in the park history. Now that we know that most of the visitors here do the right thing, we've been opening up the park to a lot more activities. We feel confident in that now because we have a handle on this issue. National Park Protection works.